Good morning, my brother and sister. Praise the Lord wherever you are. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? And I thank God for all of you. He's taking care of all of us. He's lifting us, protecting us, no matter the season. He is always faithful. And today in part to become my dear friends, I'll be sharing with you something very, very interesting. I'll be talking about my strength is in the Lord. My strength is in the Lord. And I read this from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 6. It says this, David was greatly distressed for the people spoke of stoning him because the, because the soul of all people was grieved. Every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. My dear friends, when I say that my strength is in the Lord, there are moments and at times when you're walking, you know, when you're walking in life, there are moments when you feel as though enemies are rising against you. You might feel enemies are coming into your life and rising from every corner. And at times the enemies are not even physical enemies. At times the enemies that are rising within us are our own personal enemies, are our own psychological enemies, our own mental enemies. At times the enemy can be someone you know, at times the enemy can be your own thought, thinking of defeated thoughts, thinking of things of maybe regret. There was a song my daughter was listening to the day before yesterday um, about the song was titled um, My Name Is and the guy was saying my name is regret, my name is defeat and I always remind you when I'm almost getting there and he goes on to change and say but my name is you know son of the living God and at times these things are always in our minds at times there are times when you feel enemies are rising there are moments you feel things are turning against you. The tide is moving against you. There are times when you feel as though you are alone and you're fighting a battle by yourself. At times you feel as though you're even stoning yourself because maybe at times you might be your own biggest critic. There are times your loved ones might be the ones who are against you, your workmates, people can be against you. Or at times just look at yourself and you feel you're not worthy, you're not good enough and you cannot really make it. Those moments, we all have them, my dear friends. We all have those times when we feel under siege and overwhelmed. And today might be that day. Yesterday might have been that day. But my reality is this. Just like David, David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. There are moments like this now, my dear friends, when you have to take strength and be strengthened in your God. But I know who my God is. And he has a solution. In fact, the verses that follow, David quickly jumps in and has a solution and the, and the Lord stands with him and David is able, my dear friends, to be able to rebuild himself and to rebuild his, his um, reputation. Today, the challenge I have for you is this. As the enemies rise, they can be the enemies of defeat. Maybe you have been waiting for something for, for so long. The enemy of time, you know, the enemy of weight. You know, the enemy of, of marriage, the enemy of being single, the enemy of barrenness. Whatever enemy it is that is rising against your life, encourage yourself in the Lord your God. He is your strength. What does this mean? It means that when it has become too hot, I sit back and I say, Lord, you are my strength. You are my strength. This situation is not what I thought it would be. But Lord, you are my strength. What am I saying? I'm telling God, I can't carry myself anymore. I need you now to carry me. I can't fight anymore. I need you to fight for me. Because there are battles, my dear friends, that burn you out. And you have nothing left to fight. You have nothing left, my dear friends, to be able even to lift up your voice to the heavens and just to see that battle come through. You are tired of defending yourself. You are tired of uh, encouraging yourself. You are tired of motivating yourself. You have come to that bitter crossroad where now you look at the heavens and you have to make one simple declaration that Lord, I can't make it without you. You have to carry me. I can't survive without you. You have to hold me. You are the source of my strength because Father, I am tired. I can't fight. The enemies are too many. They have turned against me. My own thoughts are against me. My own desires are against me, but you are not against me. And for this reason, I will turn to you that you may give me strength. And that is part to become today. My dear friends, we turn and look at him. Let him carry you now. Let us pray. Lord, I lift up my sister, my brother, this wonderful morning. Lord, this life can be unfair. Lord, this life at times can be cruel. And Lord, this life at times, Lord, has enemies we can't even account for. But Lord, again, this life is forever in your hands. This life has never left your goodness. This life doesn't work independent, Lord, of your power and of your favor. So for them, this power. May this favor, may this goodness 
minister almighty father to my brother my sister this wonderful day lord may they see them may they see themselves finding strength that comes from you finding hope that comes from you finding anointing and grace that comes from you we thank you father we bless you you are a wonderful and a good god in jesus name we pray thanks giving amen do have a wonderful day see you next time same time don't worry even though you're tired your strength is in him he's the one who carries you don't carry yourself anymore don't fight for yourself anymore only he can fight for you have a blessed day